Shalom, this is Ephraim Buckwell, the post Rosh Hashanah 5773, Ephraim Buckwell. And this Rosh Hashanah, our family had a big surprise. Our oldest son, Yedidja, and his wife Blanche had their fifth child, a little girl. What's intriguing is that Yedidja himself was born 36 years ago, also on the first day of Rosh Hashanah. So it was a really great gift for us all. But Rosh Hashanah for me this year was a struggle. It was a struggle because I had difficulty with my voice, as you could hear. But Rosh Hashanah is really supposed to be a struggle, and the period that follows Rosh Hashanah is supposed to be a period of struggle, of wrestling, of trying to come to terms with oneself. Introspection. Trying to work out the kinks in our personality, in our relationships. And it's a time to seek forgiveness. Now, you know that Judaism always believed in guilt, but not in destructive guilt. Constructive guilt, healthy guilt, to recognize that we could be better, we could do better, not to worry about the punishments. I guess somewhere in the 60s and the 70s in America, America lost the concept of sin. And Carl Menninger even wrote a book about it. Whatever became of sin. Because if it feels good, then it must be right. But that's not what Judaism believes in. We believe that we have to take steps towards recognizing what we've done wrong and to try to improve our relationships. We need to go to our friends and our relatives and our neighbors, our associates, and family members too, to ask for forgiveness takes a great deal of courage. I'd like you all who are on Twitter to consider joining the hashtag forgive me on Twitter and write something about a thing that you feel that you need forgiveness for. By articulating it, by writing it, by putting it out to the public, you're taking a very brave first step in achieving forgiveness. I pray that the year 5773 will be a year of forgiveness for all, a year of internal growth, a year of health and happiness and peace prevailing throughout the world. Shana Tova.